So we're going to start with this light pink document holder. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called anyway. And it is a lovely light pink leather. And I'll show you what it looks like on your desk. Okay, so this is basically what it looks like on your desk. I'm just going to use this calendar as an example. But basically, you can just put stuff in there. I will move it to the side over there in a bit. But I still need to clean out my desk a little. Um, but basically, you can just put loose paper and stuff like that in there. And it's basically just like a neat way of keeping it all. So, yeah. Okay, next we're going to unbox this pretty light blue document wallet. Um, this is like its actual colour. I'm mean, sorry, the lighting's a bit weird here. And basically, it has this zip on the side there. Um, that you can open up and store stuff in, so I'll just show you what that's like. Okay, so I've just unzipped this, and basically inside, um, it's just got this um, thing there that you can put a sheet of paper in. Great example. Um, you can just put loose paper in here and there if you want, doesn't really matter. Um, that thing obviously you can open up, and you can put in some, um, like, I forgot what they're called. Um, they go on folios and stuff like that. I don't know, some of that stuff. And yeah, I really like it. It's quite pretty. I recommend it. Okay, so next we have this light blue um, folder thing. But inside it is purple. And you can open up that right there to put um, foldery things in. And yeah, it's really cool. Uh, I'm going with like a blue sort of aesthetic for quite a few of my things at school this year, so yeah. Next we have these three um, A4 sheet protectors, I think they're called. But basically you can just open that up there and those two, yeah. So that side and that side are like shut. So you basically open stuff there and you can put stuff in that way. I got three of them because they're awesome. Okay, next we have these, um, I think they're document, yep, document wallets, they're A4. Um, they're a nice light blue. Once again, the lighting's still really weird, but they're lighter than that, let's see. Yep, so basically that color. Um, and basically you can just open stuff up. That's white on the inside, but it's really yellow. Um, and then you can put stuff in there. Um, I got six of them because I'm taking seven subjects a semester and I do have another one for my maths because I get a lot of loose sheets of paper for my maths so I will just show you that one. Okay, so this is my maths document wallet. It's much lighter but that doesn't show very well because it's kind of a shiny thing. Um, it has this really pretty pattern there and I like it. Um, and then I just changed this one from all the others because it's a bit bigger. Um, that one has like a thing on the side there, whereas um, all the others are just like flat like that. Um, and then inside, I just put my maths book, but I'll show you my maths book as well. <laughs> um, this is just 192 page grid book. Um, I have the um, 5mm grids because they're a lot smaller and I just prefer them because they're much better when doing maths. Um, by the way, I got all of this stuff from Officeworks. So, yeah, it's a really good store. Um, I don't know of many other places, honestly, that sell 5mm grid books, but Office Officeworks does really good ones. And I could have gotten 148 page, but I got 192 pages. So then I should only need one for the year. But, yeah. Mm. Okay, so now we're on to all of my school books. These are all from Typer because I love their books. Um, I was using an example. Well, they always have like these little cute messages and stuff on the front. Um, and sometimes they're metallic. They have really pretty designs on the front covers, which I'll go through in a sec. Um, I love Typer's books as well because they've got these little folder things in them that you can put stuff in. Um, so I'll just go and show you each individual book now. I've already shown you that one, so I'll just pop that right there. Um, we have this one, which I'm not really sure about the saying, like, none of my school notes are top secret, obviously, but, um, it's a really cute, um, yellow front cover there, so, yeah. Um, the next one we have 
is this one. Um, this one doesn't have any of the folded things. Um, those things that I showed you earlier. Those things. Um, it's just a plain book, but it's really cute, and I love the black cover. Okay, this one, I don't really know what the front cover is, but it's kind of cool. Because it's black and white. Um, that one also doesn't have any of the um, folded things in them, but, you know, it's still pretty. Um, next we have this one. Don't let the world change your smile. I love it, and it's really, like, it's a light pink, which is quite pretty. And um, this one uh, is dotted, which I think I'll use for my engineering technologies book. But I really like it, and it's quite pretty. Next we have this book. Um, I love that saying, it's great. And this has the document wallets as well. These are yellow and the pink front cover. I really love that color theme. Then we have this. That's so me. Um, that one has the purple folder things. Um, the lighting's kind of weird, but it is a lighter purple, kind of like a lavender. Um, and then we have this pretty flower one, which I think I'll use for English and History. Um, and it also has those folder things, but yeah, it's really pretty. These are all my books for this year. Okay, so now this is all it's shortened down to. We've just got stationery mainly. Um, but yeah, I'll unbox this stuff now. Okay, so now I have this really pretty light pink leather, um, kind of like the document holder thing that I showed you earlier. Um, but this is Pen Caddy. It's split into four sections and it's by Otto, which they tend to do pretty good stuff. Um, and I just got that from Officeworks as well. That's okay, so I think next I will do these. Um, and basically they are study cards. Um, this is a holder for them, but basically if I open this up, And I have these study cards. You have to buy the study cards separately. But I get some purple ones and some blue ones. And also comes with these little tab things. So you could write on that with like Sharpie or something like that. Um, for each of your subjects. And then you can put the cards into those sections and stuff. Um, it's really good for study revision. And even just taking notes in class and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah. Okay, next we shall do this stapler. Um, so, I just got light pink stapler. Because um, staplers are really useful. And just these staples to go with it. There was a thousand pack. That's pretty sweet. Um, but, yeah, it's nothing really to explain because staple is staple and that's kind of it. But, yeah, I was getting smaller. I'm going to do this now. So, this is just a bunch of rubber bands. They originally came in a box, but I kind of threw the box out and made it into a ball. So, this is all of those. Um, these are just from Officeworks as well. But, yeah, I've used a few of them already. But, you know, they're really good. I like them. What can I say? Um, yeah. Now I'm going to get on to this stuff. It's just a bunch of Sharpies. Really pretty colours. I love Sharpies. Um, I didn't have enough of them, so I bought a big pack of colourful ones. The lighting is still really bad, so the colours are all slightly lighter, but, you know, Sharpie's great. Um, now I have these pens, they're just gel pens with like the um, lid thing there. Really simple. Um, I'm actually known. Okay, so there's five different colors there. Um, and quite a few different pens, but ten different pens. Um, and they're just really good smooth pens that I like to use. Um, and we have these highlighters. Love highlighters. Um, this is a 8-pack, and they're just really pretty colours. You always need more highlighters. If anyone tells you otherwise, no, you need more highlighters. Um, so that's that stuff.
next we shall do let's do this so we have these um, post-it notes there is a light blue light green light pink and then we also have these tabs um, which are basically just post-it notes except they're clear and you can't really write anything on them but I've just got pink yellow and blue the colors are all slightly different because the lighting's weird but this is really good for school as well um, that stuff obviously you can just run it randomly you know everybody knows how useful they are um, that stuff can help to like mark pages and folders and in school books and stuff like that and sometimes if you're doing like a book study um, you can mark that like just put one of those on a page that you need to remember um, and they're really good for that okay next I'll do this stuff Okay, so they have this um, mechanical pencil. Um, I've used these ones before, but they're really good, and the grip on them as well is pretty good. Um, it's 0 0.7 um, millimeter lead, um, and this one's purple, but I think it also comes in like a greenish blue and pink which I already have at school, but I just got a purple one because purple's great. Um, and it's also HP lead, or you can grab 2B lead. It doesn't really matter. Um, in this little pack here, I think it was for like something about, something around $5. Um, but it's kind of hard to see because it's still in the pack, but those are leads and those are the erasers for it. Um, and then I just got some more lead to go with it and um, this is really good lead I've used it before highly recommend pretty simple though it's lead um, and then I got these three erasers erasers are just there are so many different erasers and some of them just suck so I got these three Faber-Castell ones which I'm just gonna say they're the only good erasers basically um, I don't really use anything else, but Fab Castell is great. They're pretty cheap as well. Now we have this whiteout pen. It's basically just a liquid whiteout, except it's like a pen, so you can kind of go over stuff as well. Um, I do have just the um, like whiteout tape kind of thing, like correction tape. Um, but I like to have a liquid one as well because they're pretty great. Here you have blue tack. I love this brand of blue tack. It's just good blue tack. Um, it's a good size pack as well. You just always need blue tack. It's just one of those things. So, yep. Now I have something special. This is plain paper for an example. But these things, I have no idea what you call them. But I want to say they're like paper clips, I guess. I don't know. Um, basically, they can hold paper together and stuff. So, if you just. Well, it'll work for like a few sheets of paper, but you can kind of just slide it in there. I'm trying to do this one hand, it's kind of tricky. Um, so, now that that's slid in, you can kind of see what it's like. But basically, it can kind of. I want to say bind your paper. I guess, so then you have that, and I should have used more pieces of paper, but basically it can be like a book, and it's really cool. Um, and I've just got two of those, so, yeah. Okay, so it's hard to believe under all of that was a rug, but that basically wraps up our school supplies. So we have all of that, and that. So, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and yeah. Thanks for watching.